This is a follow-up observation on this Quarkus chrysolopus. We're inspecting the progress of this tree after this large excision was made. Some months ago, this very large limb was removed from this oak, and we have allowed epicormics and adventitious shoots to occur on this site. All of these adventitious shoots that have arisen around this wound show that the tree is actively responding to this injury. The tree knows it needs to cope with and heal this wound. From the tree's point of view, the tree needs to do this. And as arborists, we have to allow it. We have to allow these epicormics and these adventitious shoots to occur around the edges of this wound to speed cambium deposition and closure of this very large wound. It's been quite a while. We're going to retreat the end grain of this wound with our orange rind oil beeswax concoction. We're going to treat this end grain again. We do have a little drying and checking. You can see the cracks in the end grain there. We want to slow down the desiccation of this wood. Again, our beeswax orange oil is going to help with that. We don't want this wood to dry too quickly. And we're going to allow all of these adventitious shoots that have occurred around this wound to persist, probably for several years. We've got five pretty good sized ones. One, two, three, four, five good sized shoots. And we have about 10 or 12 of these smaller shoots, smaller than a pencil right now. But we want them here because we're gonna speed the circulation to this site and therefore cambium deposition. We want the tree to be able to close up this wound without a rotting, cupping cavity. And so we feel that this is completely possible in the case of this excision even though this is a very large cut, by taking care of this wound and allowing the epicormics, we can help the tree cope and close this very large excision. So I'm going to take my treatment salve here. We're going to go ahead and just paint that end grain. We would like to do this about once a year until this wound is out of danger. There we go. We have completely coated the end grain of that wood. This is going to greatly slow down the drying and desiccation of this wood, the cracking and checking will be greatly minimized. We don't want water and foreign material to go into these cracks and checks and add contamination to the, the tree's body here. We're going to keep the wound clean. The beeswax orange rind oil treatment allows the wound still to breathe. There is a certain amount of respiration that's able to occur here where this wound is able to dry out. This needs to reach a point where the cambium callus is actively rolling in all the way around. And then a little at a time, we'll remove these adventitious shoots around the injury as the tree closes it. Before these get too large, we'll a little at a time remove these, but keep as many of the small ones associated with this wound for several years and speed the closure of this. This will be a nice one to come back on because this is a big change from the earlier. We had only small stuff here before and now we've got really strong shoots all around the injury. So we can see the tree is really addressing this issue. The tree is not just lying back and hoping to heal. It's sending a lot of energy to this site to speed closure. We have no cambium reaching the surface yet. We can see a little cambium callus on the side where the tree is pushing out new tissue. The tree is actively trying to heal this wound. That's the reason we're going to leave all these shoots. This is the tree's strategy for sending energy to a large excision like this. Sometimes for aesthetic reasons, these kinds of shoots will be removed from a tree. But in fact, the tree requires these kinds of shoots in order to cope with wounds of this nature. So we're going to allow this. We're going to let the tree do its own thing. We're just going to be observers and timely managers of this rather large excision. It's a big tree. It's a highly valued tree on this property. We want it to survive and thrive. So we're just going to manage and monitor this wound. We've treated again today and we'll do a follow-up as time rolls by. We'll come back and look at this wound again. Hopefully next time we see it, we'll have strong cambium callus all the way around the wound. A wound like this that can't heal could cause decay into the main stem and eventual failure of this leader. We don't want that to happen. So this strong leader has to stay. It's part of the balance of the rest of the tree. We want this leader to do well, and for this to do well, this wound has to do well. And so far it is. We have no decay, there's no rot, and the wound is, is very firm. That wood has not gone soft and pithy on us. We don't expect that it will. 
because it is oak after all. It'll take a long time for decay to get active on a site like this. Meanwhile, these adventitious shoots around the injury speed the healing, speed the closure.